everybody, Bobby here, the Geek Guru. Geek definitely guru, we'll find out eventually. But anyway, um, the reason why I'm doing this video was Bayonetta 2 came out on Friday. Um, and I kind of woke up at midnight on Thursday. Kind of wanted to show everybody what I do. Um, it's a little nuts, a little goofy, but I don't know. It's I kind of want to have the game first thing when I get up. Um, sometimes I take off on Fridays, which I did this Friday. I took off so that way I could just download the game, play it. This one took quite a bit of time to get. It was a little over two hours, one of the longer of the midnight downloads that I've done. Um, Mario Kart was about 40 minutes. Hyrule Warriors was about an hour. This one was two hours and 15 minutes, I believe, to be exact. But I also downloaded Fantasy Life as well. So... There was a lot to get this week, you know, uh, both games, uh, Fantasy Life I like a lot, um, Bayonetta 2 is an amazing game as well, it's just, I'm trying to juggle right now between the two, so, anyway, here we go, we're going to watch the video real quick, and then I'll come back afterwards and we'll discuss. Okay, so, step one's up down, done, whatever, and that's me getting up, um, and heading to Wawa, because I need to get coffee, because I am legit tired, um, pretty much what I do is, I wake up, and I go to Wawa, and I get coffee to try to help wake me up, simply because, you know, I'm going to have another couple hours before everything's said and done, um, it's 11.30 p.m. at the moment, and, uh, yeah, so, here we go, I'll, uh, I'll bring you back when we get the Wawa. So, uh, yeah, I decided that no anything is complete if I leave the house, unless I do a little street pass action, so, I don't know if you can see my Smash Brothers 3DS XL there. But I'm going to swing into Home Depot, pick up a quick street pass, and then head on my way to Wawa. It's uh, 11.36 now, so it's not that bad. It's a couple minutes. I should be in, out, on my way, and all that stuff. I'm just hoping and praying that Bayonetta 2 and Fantasy Life are definitely worth, worth waking up this early for. Because if not, I'm going to be upset. Now I know they are. I played the demo I don't know about Fantasy Life, but I played the demo of Bayonetta, and um, I was very pleased with that, so I can't really uh, I can't really complain about it. I actually took the day off of work tomorrow, um, just so I didn't have to worry about getting up early and going into work afterwards. I was going to go to New York, but uh, I changed on that. I'm not going to do that now, so, um, yeah. So, in a second or two, as soon as we see that green little light, we will head on our way. Any second. Any second now. Boom. There we go. Now, we can go get coffee. So, I don't know why I'm even filming this part of everything, the Wawa section, but I, you know what, I just figured that maybe people be interested in Wawa, I don't know, it's a, uh, around here it's a convenience store, it started out as a very small convenience store, it's gotten very big um, over the past, you know, 10 years or so where they sell sandwiches and all that stuff now and gasoline and you know, and a lot of people start off just people would go there for coffee, and now it's escalated into some giant thing. So um, that's where we're at. So pulling in the Wawa, we're gonna there's the whole little hula girl again, um, and here we go. And I'll be back. Ah, there she is, 24 glorious ounces. Yeah, that's a bit of a nonsensical part of the video, but. Again, there's Wawa at its glory. So, 
we're gonna head home and start downloading Bayonetta 2 and Fantasy Life um, as it is 11.46 and we should be good to go in a few minutes um, but I always do this just to get a head start on it because you know I want to be awake and ready to go but I found that doing this all this early is wise simply because it's uh the download process isn't quick for the Wii U. Uh, the games are typically bigger. takes a little bit longer to download. And that said, usually, at least I know it was the case with Mario Kart and uh, Hyrule Warriors, th there's a big buzz. And people are trying to get on it at the same time and get it downloaded. So sometimes it can drag. Mario Kart was scary. Like... There was a lot of reports that it was taking, you know, hour and a half, two hours, three hours. It took me about 45 minutes to get Mario Kart. And pretty much, it's not that that's that long, but, you know, by any stretch of the imagination, especially with the size of some of these games, I'm a little nervous with Bayonetta 2, the size of it. Um, Fantasy Life, not that big a deal. I think that'll breeze through. Um, I'm actually going to start the Bayonetta 2 download first. And then move on to um, Fantasy Life. Just because, like I said, I don't think Fantasy Life is going to be that big a deal. And pretty much that's it. So, alright, we will be back. It is 11.47. And I will talk to you in a bit. Alright, so at this point we are entering the eShop. And we are going to start our purchase of Bayonetta 2. Um, I didn't get Bayonetta 1 just yet. But I'll show you how that all works as well. Um, and then after that, um, we'll pop into the Fantasy Life on the eShop for the 3DS. But at this point, here's your breakdown. There's a video at the top. Um, that's that long bar across the top. And that basically will show you how to get your discounted digital version of Bayonetta 1 and 2. Um, then below that, to the left is Bayonetta 2. To the right is Bayonetta 1. Um, pretty much, it's basically you buy one Bayonetta 2 for $49.99, and then you will get Bayonetta 1 for $9.99, which isn't really a bad deal um, at all. So at this point, we are going to start advancing. I'll click the Bayonetta 2, and then we come in, and you'll see it's for $49.99, hit Purchase. And um, it's starting to go. We're going to click Next. Um, and then Purchase again. It's going to go through all the nonsense. And it's just making the purchase and getting everything finalized for us, as you normally do. You're gonna click Continue. And then at this point, you, you can see it's purchased. And it will, it's starting to download. So, um, real quick, we'll click back, we'll go out, and then I'm going to show you how Bayonetta 1 works. Okay, so you just click Bayonetta 1, and then you'll see it says discount in purple um, for $9.99. So, that's not bad. You buy the first one for $49.99, or buy Bayonetta 2 for $49.99. And then you get Bayonetta 1 for $9.99. So, that works. Alright, so now we're going to do Fantasy Life, which is very simple and very easy. So, we're into the Nintendo eShop, as normal. Uh, go through, click it, hit the purchase. Um, and then it basically just jumps in and starts going pretty quick. Um, for now, I'm going to click download now, and I'll get it started, just so you guys can kind of see how it works. Um, you know, typical, there's a little bag back there, and then you'll see the balls come across and start dropping into the bucket, per se, or the box, however you want to work it, and there we go. 
Um, Fantasy Life only took me about, I want to say, 25, 30 minutes to download in its entirety. Uh, at this point, I'm going to click Download Later. This is what I do with all my 3DS downloads, typically. And then um, it'll pop back out to the store. And then um, once that swirling image disappears i'll hit home button and we'll come back out and then i'll just shut it and that's it and it'll download while it's in sleep mode per se which is nice which is awesome i like that i don't have to do anything i don't have to worry about it i just come back like you know 20 30 minutes later and just check the progress here we go back to home and then we'll just close it and that's it Okay, and as you can see, it's a hefty download, uh, two hours and five minutes, and that's not even at the beginning. It was approximately 2.15, if I'm not mistaken, which is, that's that's a long download, uh, but whatever. Uh, at this point, we got it installed. We are going to basically show you a little bit. I didn't want to show you the whole two-hour download. I'm sure you don't want to see that, but we're going to go through, get everything kind of started on it, uh, show you the... Uh, the beginning credits and then I am going to show some of the gameplay so um, as you can see the the graphics are just amazing on it um, they really spared no expense or abilities on it I mean they really did a hell of a job on it I, I'm impressed for a Wii U game where it's supposed to be underpowered and not that good it they it looks good. I don't care what anybody says. It's it's definitely up there with some of the better games that are out there. I just think that when Nintendo does HD with these games, it just really really takes it to a whole other level. Uh, the one thing I do like is and it's completely has voice acting throughout. Really really impressive. Really good. So uh, in a second here, we're gonna go to some gameplay footage and basically just show you. What it looks like on the actual you know when it's actually playing but the cinematics and the gameplay they're really hard to differentiate between the two um and this is just me recording off my tv so it's not like it's hooked in the graphics are not perfect as they could be because it's not actually logged in i'm not like streaming it off of anything And then um, this is just some of the uh, fighting. It's actually still cinematics, but it just looks really nice. They did a heck of a job. Like I said, it's hard to argue with it. I mean, it just looks amazing. And the fighting scenes and such are just as good as we go through. So uh, that's going to be it. I'm going to just basically wrap this part of it up and um, I'll close it out. So here we go. So uh, as you can see guys, that's basically what I do. I get up, go get some coffee, maybe do some street passing, come back, drink my coffee, download the game, and then I actually play for about an hour, two hours, and then I go to bed. Wake up, luckily I'm off, and then I just continue to play. But uh, thanks for watching. Please remember to hit that subscribe button. Like the video, please. Um, tell all your friends about us. Share it. You can follow me on Twitter, at The Geek Gurus. You can follow me on Instagram, at The Geek Gurus. Like me at Facebook, facebook.com backslash The Geek Gurus. Thank you very much. Peace, mother.